Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel and to a gym vlog. So I haven't done a gym vlog in a minute. Probably been like a month or two, but I genuinely used to post gym vlogs very frequently. And I'm like, let me put this gym vlog out there. I haven't done that in a long time. And today I'm doing a full body workout, which I never posted, if I can remember properly, on my channel. And the only Oh, my turkey bacon's done. <laughs> the only reason I am doing a full body workout, because you guys have been following me, I really like prioritize upper body days, lower body days. Those are usually what my workouts consist of. But I'm working on a program that I'm launching at the end of the year. So I want to diversify my app. If you guys don't know, I do have a fitness app, New Body. You guys have one-on-one -on -one online coaching with me, or you can also try the five weeks glute program that I have. Everything's going to be like linked down below. So... I want to diversify that. I know not everybody wants to just work on their glutes. Some people want to do like full body. Some people want to get stronger all over. People want to lose weight, build muscle all over. So I'm like, let me diversify and just give more programs and more options out there for the end of the year because that's when a lot of people want to like get back into the grind of things. That's what I'm working on. So for myself, I actually do the workouts to see what I need to tweak and what I need to fix and all of that so that's what I'm doing today also if you guys are not subscribed make sure you guys subscribe to my channel we are doing vlogmas I sat down with myself for like two three minutes and I was like girl you have to commit to this like you want to make YouTube your job you say you're a content creator be a content creator okay put the time in it you literally said you're not working for no one else working for yourself this is what it means if you have to post a video every single day for 25 days straight do it and I'm like okay do it like bet on yourself what can you lose nothing so gym fit of the day I have this cute brown sports bra it crisscrosses in the back got this from Amazon I'll leave it linked down below and my leggings they are from some brand I can't remember they reached out to me and they gave me like two three leggings if I can remember it I'll leave a link down below if I can't remember the brand or the link or I can't find the link it won't be linked down below also did a little makeup my skin by the way has been getting so much better since I've been taking the medication. It's been about two months and I am definitely noticing a difference, like a big difference. I don't break out as much. It's very, very minimal. And I'm just like, did we find this? Like, did we find the, the, like, the, the, the formula? Like, tell me, tell me we did because guys, it's been four years, four years of me struggling with acne. So, <sighs> cross fingers anyways gonna go make my breakfast so you guys are gonna come with me for my breakfast before the gym it's generally the same thing every single time it's just because it's what i like and it's also something that is easy to make and it just fills me up and gives me the proper macros that i need before going to the gym so usually what you guys want to have is you want to have like something that's very much carb based and like healthy carbs so I have oatmeal you can have like eggs you can have oatmeal you can have protein pancakes um you can have like a Greek yogurt parfait thing so I know some people are not let me put you guys on a tripod actually so I know not everybody's a breakfast person like some people could just wake up have a cup of coffee cup of tea and then they're good to go at least have fruits like at least have a banana have like a little parfait yogurt thing especially if you're going to the gym for my breakfast what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mix the two oatmeal from quakers they're not the healthiest oatmeal if you want to make oatmeal from scratch that is the best way to go about it because you're controlling the sugar content that you're putting in your oatmeal but i ain't got time for that and i could care less to do all that so quaker has been my friend for years like since childhood so i'm having the apple and cinnamon mixed with the maple and brown sugar I've also been lacking with my protein intake. Like, I do not get enough protein in for the day. Minimum, I would say, is like 60. Maximum, I usually get is like 120. And I want to really aim for like 150. So what I have to do is I have to start getting more protein in for my breakfast. So what I've been doing, I've been adding in the good protein mocha into my oatmeal just to give it a little chocolate flavor a little sweetness and also just to give myself a little bit of protein so i just put half the scoop because a full scoop i feel like inside of my oatmeal is just a little too protein this is what it's looking like I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit it is really hot, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to add a bit more milk. Just to kind of cool it down and make it very liquidy. Because personally, I like 
my oatmeal soupy. I don't like it thick and clunky like how some people like it. And then we're just going to add in a banana. I'm going to put like half a banana in here. And then the other half I usually just blend it into a smoothie. So this is literally like my go-to breakfast. I would sometimes have turkey bacon. I literally was putting it in the air fryer. You guys heard it ding earlier. But then I was just like, I'm not hungry like that. That's something I'm trying to really like practice is not to overeat because I definitely overeat. Like I will eat until the point where I'm like stuffed and I don't want that. I want to eat until the point where I'm like good. You know, I'm not hungry anymore. You guys see this? <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. This is what oatmeal should look like. Mm. Alright guys, so we... Oh, why is he in the freaking turning lane and he's not turning right? I gotta wait behind a red light because you don't want to move over. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm in my car right now, as you guys can see, heading to the gym. I got my water mixed with my creatine. I will leave the link for the creatine that I use down below. Creatine is also one of the biggest secrets when it comes to gaining muscle mass. Like, if you want your muscles to be popping, if you want to look swole, if you want to look shredded, if you want to look like you are a lifter, like you are a gym girl or whatever you want to call yourself, get yourself some creatine. You're sleeping on yourself if you're not having creatine because you want to have creatine. I said this so many times before on my channel. You want to have creatine even on your off days, not just, oh, we got so dark. So sorry, guys. Is this auto? You want to have creatine even on days that you guys are not training. And same thing with protein powder. You want to be eating your protein every single day, having protein shakes if you're not meeting your protein intake every single day, even on days that you're not training. Anywho, I'm excited. My brother who lives in Boston, I don't know if you guys know this little bit about me, but I do have two sisters, one that I live with and another older one that has like kids. And then I have two brothers. I have a younger brother and an older brother. One brother, what is this man? He looks like a gun man. <laughs> Sorry. One of my brothers lives in Montreal and the other brother lives in Boston. I have to go visit him. And if you're watching this video, because I know he watches my videos sometimes, what? <laughs> hey what is up but yeah he messaged me this morning our group chat and he was just like hey i'm getting married august 2025 and i'm like i'm so excited i just love love and i just would love to see them real not reunite but just love to see them what's the word solidify their relationship i just want to see him get married basically but i want to go see him before he gets married because i go to the states a lot you guys probably have seen him into like vegas miami dallas la Atlanta. and i never go see my brother i think a big reason is because he lives in boston i'm just like what is there to do in boston but that's so rude like you should be going for your brother sorry we're in the tunnel right now or underground parking i'm like a blob <laughs> I'm such a good mood. You would think I had pre-workout or something. Do I have so much energy? It's just sun. I'm telling you guys. But when the weather is beautiful, I thrive. My energy is just up. I'm in a good mood. I want to be outside. Not outside like I want to party and shake my ass and drink alcohol. But I want to be like just outside, like physically outside. I feel so productive. I feel so like geeked up, amped up, ready to work, ready to get shit done. Like, it's just, I feel like I am meant to be in a country where it is sunny and beautiful 90% of the time, like LA. But LA is dirty as hell and it is so expensive. And it's America. That in itself is just like a, ooh. Um, I think this should be good parking. We're gonna reverse it. Before we go to the gym, you guys already know we gotta listen to some music. That's like the pre-workout that we do prior to our workout without having to incorporate actual caffeine because you guys already know I have a very, very bad caffeine problem. You guys heard the song um, How We Roll or yeah, How We Roll with Ciara and Chris Brown. They have a remix out with Lil Wayne. I like it. It's a lot better than the original. She said my third leg, fill up my forearm. Since I'm a pothead, she leave my store home. Pussy like a pot of gold, got me gold digging. She screamed gold. Yo, Lil Wayne has bars. Like, come on. Don't kill my life. You know that I like. Daddy. How we roll. You know what it is. Like that, that, that. 
Okay, what else do we want us to do? Do you want us to do a little baby? Are we gonna have a little baby moment? I love me some little baby. I'm trying to have babies right now, but fuck with a rubber bra, I got a rabbit. I don't know why I've been loving, loving this song by Kaylani <laughs> recently. It's an old song, and it's just, I don't know. You took my feelings and you just threw them out the window. All the times I played a fool for you. And I can't believe the lies that I went for. This guy is looking at me like, yo, this girl's really going through it. He's laughing at me. <laughs> I cannot make eye contact, guys, because he's literally looking directly at me laughing. <laughs> I gotta finish this song, though, before I go into the gym. You gon' say you want me, then go switch it up. Just gon' play with my emotions just because. All right, guys, let's go to the gym and hit this full upper, hit this full body day. Full, full body? full body workout yeah full body workout <laughs> all right so the first thing you guys want to do once you get to the gym before you even start your workout before you even start picking up any weights you want to start your stretching now i'm pretty sure you guys already know this you've heard it probably a thousand and one times and if you haven't you want to make sure that you're doing dynamic stretches which is basically moving your body in and out of a specific movement and ideally you want to be doing this with the joints that you're going to be utilizing for your workout so because I'm doing a full body workout today, I am actually going to do movements that target pretty much my entire body. So this is a really good stretch that you guys can do. Here you're basically utilizing the joints in your knees, your ankles, your hips, and then I'm opening up my chest, shoulders, like total body. Then from this, I went into doing some windmills, which is really good for you guys if you want to open up your hips, especially if you're doing a squats, which is what I'm going to be doing. So I like to do this, making sure that I keep my butt on the floor, I go inside to side. And then I'm going to go down into some squats to extensions. I don't even know what this is really called, but this too is good to basically open up your hips as well as get your legs all stretched out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do some walking lunges. You want to do like 10 going down and then 10 coming back. And this is just going to get your body prepped for your workout. So first exercise are some back squats. I like to warm up with just the barbell to start off just to make sure like everything feels good. That I don't have any knee pain. My movement looks good. It feels good. I'm not winking my butt because I tend to do that. I have to really pay attention to like really pushing my butt back and not going too low but like beyond my actual range. Once everything feels all warmed up and everything feels good, I go straight into adding on my weight and I'm doing 45 pounds on each side. Now do keep in mind obviously for me I'm using 90 pounds but you guys are going to use whatever weight that you feel is best for you because you do want to execute four sets of 10 reps for this exercise so make sure that you're picking a weight that you're able to do all these reps for all four sets now when you guys are doing your back squats a few things i want you to keep in mind first of all squats will look different from one person to the next okay some people can't go fully all the way down as to grasp because of their hip mobility that is perfectly fine you can build your way up to that also you want to make sure that you're bracing your core for every rep so you want to make sure that you're breathing out, expanding your stomach horizontally and not lifting your shoulders up, taking in the deep breath that way. That's a really good cue I can give you guys when it comes to back squats. The next exercise I did was a superset for my upper body. So I actually grabbed two dumbbells, one for my shoulders and one for my biceps. And I was just jamming before I even got started because the playlist was hidden, one. And two, there was no one in the gym. Like it was empty upstairs. So you want to start off by doing 10 reps of lateral raises. And when you do your lateral raises, think about like going in for a really big hug with a very slight bend in your elbows and you want to control the weight as you bring it down to your thighs after you do your 10 reps drop the weight pick up the heavier weights because chances are very high your biceps are stronger than your shoulders and we're going to go for 10 reps of hammer curls and just like this one too you guys want to control the movement even when it burns control the reps so you want to slowly bring it up and slowly bring it down don't let the weight just like pull your arms all the way down like i did for the last rep that was not what you're supposed to do then once I finished those, I went straight into doing some RDLs. I did three sets of 12 reps. Now for your RDLs, you guys really want to make sure that you're really hinging at your hips. So you're pushing your butt back as far as you can and you're not squatting down. You are going to have a slight bend in your knees so you get a bit more glute engagement. But as you are pushing your hips back, you don't want to push your hips back and bend your knees further, making it a squat more than a hinge. If you are someone who struggles with feeling it in your glutes and your hamstrings and hinging and you feel it more in your lower back, 
I would advise you guys to stand like maybe a foot away from a wall and really push your butt all the way back until you touch that wall. And then once you feel like you're comfortable doing this with touching the wall, step a little further away again and then keep doing this until you no longer have to step in front of a wall. I hope that makes a whole lot of sense to you guys. From the RDLs, I went straight into doing some reverse flies. Now this you can do standing up and hinge back, but if you're someone who struggles with your hinging, I would recommend sitting down like this, feet together. Now with your reverse flies, this is actually gonna target your rear delts and your rhomboids. So you guys see as I lift the weight up, that top of my back is really being contracted as if like I'm trying to hold a tennis ball between the two um, shoulder blades to rear delt muscles. So that exercise you want to do three sets of 12 reps and I actually did some chest press right after that but I didn't get to record it because people were in that area and I didn't want to you know inconvenience them or feel uncomfortable with a camera in that area that they're working out. And then to end off my workout I did some walk-in lunges and ending off a workout with heavy walk-in lunges I did 20 lunges so I went 10 down and 10 back is intense like literally my face says it all i wanted to give up but i told myself to just keep pushing you're almost done and i literally collapsed to the floor and i'm not even over exaggerating i can't be an extra person but these are really hard and if it's not hard enough and intense enough for you where you want to collapse at the end you're not going heavy enough go pick up some heavier dumbbells i think i might have to incorporate like full body fridays or something because it just felt good to target all the muscles all the major muscles at least on my body after my workout, I didn't show this part because I was using my camera for it. I was taking a good like 20, 30 minutes to take pictures of myself, which I'm not going to lie to you. It was hella awkward at first because people were working out like literally around me. And the camera I have, which is the Canon Mark II, you can set the setting where it's like, well, most cameras you can do that, right? You can set a timer and it just takes like 10 to 20 pictures continuously and it makes that sh 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 sound so you know i'm taking pictures and so there was a girl literally there were a couple of girls working out around the area that i was taking pictures in and i had my big tripod up i had my camera flipped i'm there posing and stuff and i'm just like this is a little awkward i'm not even gonna lie to you but the more i kept doing it the more i kept telling myself to shauna who cares who cares if people are looking at you and thinking oh why is she taking pictures of herself in the gym probably not even what's going through people's minds they're probably just fixated on their actual workouts and even if they are worried about me who the f cares right like i really want to prioritize content creation being a youtuber as a career and being a lucrative career because right now let me tell you if i was to be banking on youtube and content creation i would be homeless on the streets of toronto actually no i'd probably be back at my parents house but it is something that I really have a deep passion for and I know I can do so well in this field. I just have to go all in. And that's another reason why I'm doing Vlogmas because I want to go all in and just bet on myself type of thing. So if you're a content creator or even just any entrepreneur business you have going, really just bank on yourself and put everything into it and try not to worry about other people's perspectives, other people's opinions, what other people may think about your choice of career or your choice of business. If you love what you're doing, if it brings you passion and you want to make this lucrative, girl or guy, do it. Forget everyone else and just do it. And the more you keep trying to tell yourself in those moments where you're just like worried about other people's perception or people looking at you or watching you, especially if you're like content creation and you put in your tripod or you're recording yourself, once you find yourself thinking those thoughts, take those thoughts out of your mind, stop yourself and be like, you know what? Who cares? They're probably not checking for you. And the more you keep checking yourself every time those thoughts come to mind, you're slowly going to not care about other people's opinions or even be fixated on other people watching you. And you're going to get so much more comfortable doing what you have to do. I'm saying this to myself as well because like, as I said, I, I struggle a little bit, but I'm getting a lot better. Anyways, that is the end of the vlog. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel for Vlogmas because Vlogmas is going to be the next video after this video, as I said. So make sure you're subscribed, turn your notification bells on if you guys want to know when I actually upload a video. I'm trying to try to stick to like a consistent schedule where I post pretty much the same time every day. It's probably going to be between like 2 p.m., 4 p.m. Eastern time. Just so you guys kind of like, ooh, Tashana posts at this time. And like, you just, kind of like a TV show, you know? So I, I like that anticipation. And I like when my favorite YouTubers post at a specific time. And then when those days and those times come about, I'm like, ooh, did she post? And I want to go watch the video. So I want to create that same, you know, same feel with my videos. Anyways, I'm talking way too much. Sometimes I'm like, girl, you should get a podcast because you could just talk.
maybe I might do that one day. Who knows? Let me just focus on what I got going on now. Anyways, guys, for the fifth time, <laughs> thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in Vlogmas. Bye. Have a great day.